Hey everybody, welcome back to my porch, or at least my front porch. <laughs> I'm glad you could join me today. It's a little hot and humid out, so I decided maybe it would be better if I sat out on the front porch in the shade, that way I didn't die of heat exhaustion. You know, I wanted to share with you, I received my first complaint about uh, my porch videos this week. Um, and the complaint happened to come from my parents who told me that I wasn't doing them often enough, so I needed to get on the ball. So, sorry, Mom and Dad. Uh, I, I apologize. It's been a busy week, but here I am back again. We're going to continue on with our Morning Glories book, and actually this is the last devotional in this book, so next time we'll have a different book. And our scripture reading comes from Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 26, and it says this. Now the works of the flesh are evident sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you as I warned you before that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and its desires. If we live by the Spirit... Let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another or envying one another. And our devotional says, Joyce and Doris met for a quick cup of tea in the local mall before battling the crowds at the inventory sales. Rather thoughtfully, Doris remarked, there must be some profit in all this hassle, or I'm sure the stores wouldn't bother to stage such sales. You're right, Joyce agreed, then added, maybe there's a lesson in it for us. We might all profitably ask why businesses make such a production of their year-end inventory. To be sure, it's not just to give shoppers a chance to paw through high-piled merchandise. They have a dual purpose in these sales extravaganzas. One to scrap the no longer profitable merchandise, and two, to restock with proven money makers and make room for new items. As Joyce intimated, we can all learn from this practice. In particular, what are some items or areas of our life that we can profitably discard? Undoubtedly, these will vary. We will have to be discriminating, taking as our criteria what applies to each one of us in today's reading. Nor can we smugly assert, I'm not guilty of these vile things. Paul exposed, I'm no murderer or idolater. But before we pass on too hurriedly, let's be honest about the hatred, the wrath, the variance, the strife that can hinder even the devout believers among us from being what God wants us to be. Having acknowledged these evils in our lives and sought the help of the ever-willing Holy Spirit in ridding us of them as we walk in the Spirit, we can then proceed to restock the shelves of our own lives. And what a store we have to choose from. The whole line is there for us in verses 22 and 23. Love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, temperance, take just the first three. How we could change our world if we would earnestly work at cultivating these fruits of the Spirit. I think my favorite is joy, for we are all projecting some kind of image as avowed Christians. The world needs joy-filled people in our often gloomy circumstances. There's no need to wait until year's end to do our stock taking and restocking. I know of a woman who follows this practice. She says, every night I recap my day, ask what did I do wrong today? How can I undo the wrong and learn from that experience? 
How can I help change things to make them better for other people as well as myself? I should tell you that this woman is a wheelchair bound victim of arthritis. You and I can find our own best way to reduce our less desirable qualities and then restock from the treasures God has for us in his word. Happy inventory. The fruits of the spirit. I love that she picked joy. In a time in our country, and it seems even though today we're celebrating our Independence Day, that we're ever more divided ever more angry. I had a lot of hatred going on, or at least that's what the news tells us. Maybe we should take stock of our own inventory and look at how we are in our life and how we treat others. Are we angry? Are we wrathful? Are we envious? Are we vile? Or do we practice those fruits of the spirit? Do we practice joy? peace, patience, love, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. Are those the fruits that we display? Not only to those outside of our families, but especially in our homes. I know honestly I can say that I don't always display those awesome characteristics. That whole patience and peace Sometimes I don't give that off to my family. And maybe I need to take stock of what it is, what fruits of the Spirit I'm showing. What am, what am I restocking my life with, with what God has for me in His Word? Am I restocking it with those good things? Or am I letting the world dictate how I restock my own personality? Because to be honest, the things that this world has to offer... I don't want to put on my shelves. I don't want it taking up space. I don't want it even to think about hitting my inventory. So where are you today? What's on your shelves? What are you selling? What kind of merchandise are you showing for the world that you have on sale? Is it peace? Is it joy? Is it love? And if it's not, why not? Brothers and sisters, I love you. But more importantly, God loves you. Pray you have a blessed, wonderful, and beautiful day. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.